Hey, what's up guys? Earned a worm here with another action figure review. And today I'm going to be having a look at Bluefin's US release of the SH Figure Arts Doctor Strange and Burning Flame set. They did a Japan release of this figure and it was just the figure. It did not come with the flame set. A lot of the times when Bluefin does a US release, they will throw in some kind of extra. With this, they chose a flame effect. I'm not sure why. I never remember him really manipulating any flames or anything, except the little whip. But for the packaging on Doctor Strange, it is gigantic. You do have a nice window in the front. On this side, you have a picture of the figure with the flame effects. On the back, you have some promo shots. This effect does not actually glow. And it shows you all the optional parts. This side, you just have a cool picture of Doctor Strange. And the front again, so I'll take a second, get everything out so we can have a look at his accessories and then the figure. Okay, Doctor Strange is out of packaging and this Doctor Strange figure stands just shy of six inches tall. Now, moving on to his accessories, which is mostly a cubic butt ton of hands. You get his flame effects. I've actually reviewed a set of these flame effects. I actually like this red set a lot better. Just seems more accurate for fire. But here is the flame effect set that he comes with. They're more orange and yellow. You do have to pop them together in some places. So there is that one popped together. You do get a little movement here. And you have this large one, which also popped together here, a little bit of movement. You have this larger piece, which has a curve at the bottom. Then you actually get four smaller pieces, and these have little hooks on them, so you can strap them to their arms or legs or wherever you want to put them. You get an alternative head sculpt, which is actually just ever so slightly different. His mouth is like barely open. It's not very much different at all. They did the screen printing on these head sculpts, and it's very obvious on these ones. His eyes are very light colored, and it just it looks speckled all over the face. But they did do a pretty good job of the likeness of the character. Benedict Cumberbatch, I think. That was an awesome name. Now on to the hands, and I'm all for getting extra hands, but my goodness. He has fisted hands on him. You have these mostly open palm hands here. You have these, I just threw a baseball hands. You have these hands which are slightly different than the last hands. And then you have the ones that counts. These have a peg in the palm to hold the magic effects. And you have these ones you can peg the magic effects in on the wrist. And I like these hands. For my money, they could have took out probably two or three sets of these hands. Okay, then you have your magic effects. You get a set of green ones that are small. And these do have a little plastic film on them you have to peel off, I guess, so they didn't get all scraped up in packaging. And you get a large set of orange ones. Again, they don't glow or anything like that promo pick. Okay, so that is it for accessories. Now on to the figure itself. Now, I like the overall sculpt and everything of this figure. And even with these longer robes, it don't really hinder articulation or anything. But I have one major problem, which is the major problem everyone else had, and it's this cape. Now, the reason I don't like the cape is a little different than other people's. I don't like it because it's plastic and it's weird looking. There's a gap left here. There's no cape that just separates like that. That shouldn't happen. Even if this wasn't cloth, I would have been happier if they would have just done it all in this material that they did the top in. But I think it's a major missed opportunity with this cape. Because the cape in the movie was a character all on its own. It had a personality. It was funny. They had funny moments. That does not come across at all with this cape for this figure. It could have been a nice fabric, removable. That way you could have recreated some of those funny moments from the movie with that cape. But that being said, I do really overall like the figure. Great job on all the sculpt, on all those belts and buckles. He does have the eye of Agamotto on. He's got that signature gray patch of hair on the side of his head. Really great job on all this sculpt. All these bands on his boots, down to these robes. All these belts and buckles, like I said, look really good. Even on the back, he has this little piece that comes off of the belt. 
All these wraps on his arms look good. You can see his undershirt in there. It looks good. And it does continue up onto the neck some. Okay, and for articulation on this Doctor Strange figure, he doesn't look up the most, but he will look up some. Using the ball joint on the upper neck and lower neck, he will look down really good. Shoulders will go out that far. They will rotate all the way around. You also have a butterfly type joint, so you get some back and forward movement there. And he does swivel some at that shoulder. Good bend at the elbow. Wrists are pegged in and on a little disc. Now despite having these robes on there, he does have really good back crunch. He also crunches forward pretty good. And he does have those SH Figure Arts hip joints that will drop down. So you can pull them down. And these robes are all really soft and very flexible. So he can still kick forward. Back, you're going to have to work with the cape if you want to kick back any. He also swivels at the top of the hip. Got a nice bend at the knee. His ankles are actually on a little barbell joint. But he does have some pivot. They'll go forward and back just very slightly. And then he does have toe articulation. So overall, to have the clothes on that he has on, he does have very good articulation. And he's a magician anyway. He's not a karate master. But I'll take a second, get some of these accessories on him, and we will wrap this review up. So there is Doctor Strange with his spell effects on him. Probably making a pizza. At least that's what I'd do. With some fire around him because why not? They threw it in, so I threw it in. Don't really remember him ever being surrounded by fire, but he is now. But overall, I really like this figure. And we've all saw the Infinity War trailer with Doctor Strange. Who knows if we'll get an Infinity War Doctor Strange figure from SH Figuarts. I don't think his outfit changed at all. If any, it wasn't much. So this will be a great stand-in with your Avengers for Doctor Strange. But that was my review of the U.S. Bluefin release of the SH Figuarts Doctor Strange with Flame Set. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now.